figure that part out. You'll figure it. Speaking of money, um, did you hear about this? The J.C. Penney CEO. Okay, that is crazy, <laughs> right? Is it well, crazy? I have to find it literally. Because he, what about it? he has taken um, less money than he was supposed to get. His salary was uh, just a little less than two million. He got one point nine million, but he was supposed to get get this uh, fifty two point seven million dollars. And he only the took one so point nine. Was I'm supposed to be career. his his salary, including all the stock options. Well, if he could if he could raise the company's profits, yeah, but, but he they didn't. keep going down. Their, the quality of their commercials keeps going up. But nobody's buying anything. So you know what I think they did, and we were talking about this in the makeup room, is they did away with their, you know, sales structure. You know, where even though they're a discount retailer, people want to go, and you, when you see the sales sign, at least for me, maybe maybe I need help for it, but I see a sales sign, and I'm like, yes, you know, I got a deal. You get excited yeah. about it, and people shop sales. Anyone who knows retail knows that. And um, so I thought it was really interesting when they did away with that, and they said our prices are already low. We don't need to do sales. You're already going to get a great value. I think it backfired. But then you look at places like, I mean, just, I worked in retail for 10 years, so just giving a little background to that. I mean, you look at places like J. Crew, and I used to shop there all the time, and now their prices are so high. They are ridiculous. That I will not shop there until they go on sale, and really, once then they go to the deepest markdown of like 70%, it's still more expensive than buying full price mm -hmm. at JCPenney. What happened And is the quality Crew? really any different, you know? So, um, even though, yeah, those sale signs can be really, you know, bright and shiny and attractive, I mean, Sometimes you're not getting, you know, more bang for your buck. I agree. It, anyways. I think the most interesting part of that, though, is what his salary was supposed to be. And so Ooh. Mason, um, <clears throat> my son, who's about to turn 18 in a couple days, we were talking about, um, because he's considering being a business major in college, and so we were talking about, you know, salaries and, and stuff. He was asking me what certain people make. And so there you go, Mace. Be a CEO. Go work retail. Of a big company. <laughs> 52 million. Be a CEO of something you love to do, and then you'll make the money. Just be the CEO of your life and, and right. do it the way you want to do it, right, Susie? Or become yes. a morning talk show host like your mom. <laughs>